Pull-offs 1. How to play pull-offs. To learn this technique, we'll be using the 5th and the 7th fret on the top E string. And here's what the tablature looks like. Straight away you'll notice that the tablature layout is very similar to that that we used for hammer-ons. But this time there's a P above the slur line. So to break down this tablature, you notice the 7 which we play with the plectrum or our finger, then the slur line with the P and the 5, so this means to pull off to the 5. Now when we pull off, it is literally plucking the string with our finger as we pull it away. You don't just lift it. And when I say to pluck the string, I don't mean with the plectrum hand, I mean with your actual fingering hand. To properly understand this, you really need a demonstration, so let's have a look at one now. So we pluck the 7 and then pull away to the 5. Notice how the finger plucks the string as it's removed from the guitar. To practice this technique and build up strength, you can actually achieve the pull-off without using the plectrum hand at all. Right, let's have a look at some exercises that can be combined to make one exercise. Whilst learning and practicing these exercises, it's really important to use the correct fingers. And they are the second to the first finger, the third to the first finger, and the fourth to the first finger. The fourth to the first finger is particularly hard, so don't worry if you don't get it right straight away. Some useful tips. Make sure your first finger is in place and pressing hard enough before you attempt the pull-off, otherwise it will be unsuccessful. Don't worry if with the fourth finger you can't play the pull-offs at all or they're very weak. This will come with time as your little finger gets stronger. Watch out for bends. It's all too common to bend the string with the first finger once the pull-off's achieved and this will make your guitar sound out of tune. Just be aware and you can avoid doing this. <laughs> 